on Tuesday evening it was all changed as David Cameron became our new Prime Minister. It was also a case of out with the old and in with the new as the departing PM, Gordon Brown and his family, had to leave their home at number 10. It all happened like clockwork with the family moving out on the same day the PM resigned. So not even time to pack. Uh, but when we're moving on from our homes, how quickly do you say your goodbyes? Do you just scoot out the door like Gordon did? I, I do, yeah. I'm, I don't. I, I very. I don't get attached to uh, property. Um, I just. I'd live anywhere, me. I mean, I, I get like you know lifestyle envy. If I'm in a car going along and I see a house I like the look of, I imagine myself living in it. Really? Yeah, I could. I'm never actually... inviting you round. Oh. <laughs> well, I might not want. <laughs> She's lovely, isn't she? Do, do you actually look in? Do you look in people's houses and go, "Oh, I want that." I do. I imagine myself. Not the man, of course. Well, that's why I moved to the countryside because I imagine myself living like like sort of like a landowner or somebody with you know with green wellies and a you know one of them sort of shooting. Yeah jackets and all that on. I haven't quite got that far yet. In fact, I've just done a window box. That's all I've done. <laughs> but you lived in London for such a long time. Mm. Did you not feel sad when you walked out the door? No, I didn't. I think it's a lot to do with being an actor. I'm a gypsy, so I kind of, I can make home wherever right. I go. And I think, I, what, what I tend to do is if I, when, when I move, I'm not kind of into possessions and stuff like that. I'm more about getting the mates over, my friends over, so that they can stay over and then they make it a home. Yeah. And the other thing I think that helps make it a home is when, like, you take your dog. Because you don't generally take your dog round other people's houses, do you? I do. Mm. Do you? Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely not going round yours. <laughs> What's upsetting about moving, usually, especially yeah. in London, is when you, when you move out and you think, God, in two years' time, this place is going to be worth double what it's worth now. <laughs> <laughs> To think about that. Well, that's it. You know, I'm, I'm like Lisa. I, I don't attach myself. I've, I don't think I've ever actually looked at a place and gone, uh, uh, goodbye, bricks and mortar. Oh, I mean, I that's do. just sick. Oh, I do. No, but yeah. why? I mean, I don't, I don't pull that face or anything. I'll make that funny noise. <laughs> you won't pull that face because it's my face. Because your face. That's but it. no, you can't get attached to things like that. It's just a house, isn't it? There's another one down the road. Just no, move. I, yeah. I always, and I've moved around loads from when I was little, and I've moved around quite, quite a few times, obviously, as a grown up. Um, sounds funny to say that, doesn't it? I'm a grown up. Um, but I do. She's before... on the run. Really. I know. That's what it is. <laughs> That's it. Um, but before I go, I always walk around every room and go bye bye bedroom, bye bye kitchen, bye bye living room, and, and then I shut the door and I do feel a bit. That. And then walk on. I, I, I do have that to say though, goodbye. Andrew, I do that because I'm not a nester at all. But I have to say, when I um, when I left my house when when my marriage broke up, I'm a bit sad about that one now because it was a nice house and actually it would be worth some money now. But um, <laughs> exactly. the thing is, what I do is I say, it, like hotel rooms, I'll say goodbye room. I'll never see you in my life again. No. I don't know why I say, but I don't. I never you... see it in my life again. Well, what if you do? Well, I won't. Is it? Is it a liar? They won't let me. <laughs> so, and when I leave houses, I always go, thank you, house, it's been really nice, but I've got to move on now. And the thing is, also, when I move into... You're mad! No, I don't. <laughs> when, I move, when I move into my next house, I, I've got a six-foot Buddha, and um, he, has to, he has to stand there and, and welcome people in, and my elephants. And so I've got my elephants and my Buddha, you but the elephants have to face the window, so they're not welcoming you in because you can see their bums. But the thing is, <laughs> so, so but, but they're all welcoming. So that's things. what you do when you move into your new house, to, yes. to make yourself feel. That's right. When I move into my right. new house, but, so, I, yes. but I think everything that's important you're taking with you, like your family, like you know, if everything yeah. I need is in the car with me. Paul, Bo, and the dog, and, and yeah. ev everything else. I'm, I'm just, you know, oh, no, doesn't no, matter. No, no. Pictures, pictures, pictures of what? See, if pictures, you moved into pictures. number ten, what, what yeah, but would you, you take can't get your pictures. Off. Well, no, I know because I've got this habit of no more nailsing my pictures to the wall and all the way around the frame so they're totally stuck so you can never change them. So when I move, I have to rip them off with the plaster as well. <laughs> so, yeah, so if I was moving into number 10, I'd get on that staircase and remove all those pictures of those horrible prime People, ministers yeah. so and put my head up of me in a bikini on a boat in the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs>